I'm in a small L-shaped storage area in my basement and I'm getting ready to add some shelving back along this wall here. But before I do that, I want to add some extra lighting. Right now I have one light bulb and it's kind of pointing in one direction and I want to add a second light bulb that's going to point that is going to shine in the other direction. They're only going to be about six feet apart. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of adding an extra light fixture to an already existing switched outlet. I'm going to use this electric tester to see which lines are hot and at some point I'm going to be shutting off the power. I'm going to use some pliers to strip back the electric cable. I might need to use a tape measure. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a screwdriver. I'm going to use a box to attach this fixture to. So in my case I'm going to use this metal box but you could also use one of these plastic ones. These are some parts that I have left over from previous projects. I'm going to use these screws to attach this box to my joists. And then I'll need a light bulb to screw into that fixture. I'm also going to use some Romex cable enough to join the two fixtures together. In this case I'm using 14-2 which, which is what I have already for my electric. I'm going to use one of these cable clamps to attach and hold the cable or the electric wire in place for this box. I'm going to use a utility knife, some staples, and a hammer. So I have a good idea where I'm going to place this box. It's about five or six feet away from the existing fixture and I'm going to attach it to this joist. Since I already have a hole here in the box, I'm going to point that at the existing fixture. I looped my new wire around my existing wire at the fixture. Nothing is tied in. It's just hanging there so that I can get an idea of how long I want to pull out. Now I have a 250 foot roll of cable here. These definitely come in much smaller sections. So I'm just going to kind of roughly measure out about how much I need, leaving plenty of extra. And use my pliers to make a clean cut. Now that I have the length of cable that I want, I'm going to use my utility knife to score the sheathing around the wire and being very careful not to nick the either of the copper wires that are underneath. I'm going to go back about four or six inches and then begin to peel that away. Just like that. And there's some paper in there as well that can be pulled away. So now you're left with the three wires that are exposed. You have your black, your hot wire, your white, which is your neutral, and then your bare wire, which is your ground. So I'm going to cut away the, the paper, again being very careful not to hit the other two or three wires. And I'm going to cut away the, the sheathing. And then I'm left with those wires. I'm going to use my pliers to peel back the coating on those two wires to expose the bare wire underneath. So nothing is nothing is connected, nothing's hot at this point. With these being a 14 2 gauge wire or 14 gauge wire, I'm going to use my pliers at that 14 gauge mark. Strip back about an inch or so of bare wire. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to both ends of the wire. And you wouldn't necessarily do this before the wire is installed and attached to your structure, but since this is such a short run and because I wanted to show a little bit more of a close-up, that's why I'm doing it down here, but you would normally attach it to the joist, have it tacked and stapled into place, have it run through your fixture and then strip off the cable ends after that. Now I've swung around to the other side and I want to attach this 3 8 inch cable clamp through the wire and then into the box. Hopefully this can show up alright. It's dark in here. That's why I'm adding some extra lighting. So with the screws facing down 
I'm going to stick that into the hole, the clamp into the hole, with the screws on the outside of the box, and run my wires through the clamp. And then I have this, there's this ring that you again run through the wire and attach that clamp to the box. And if you're using a plastic box or plastic fixture, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this because there's little prongs that hold the wire in the place a little bit easier to use. Let's try to get that snug and then use a screwdriver to tighten down those screws on the outside. You want to get it snug but not too tight. We don't want to crimp the wires. And now that we have our wires hanging down here, I'm going to go ahead and install the fixture. So this is just a really simple fixture that you plug a bulb into and it has, in this case, it has four screws underneath or that are going to be on the back side. There's uh, two gold ones and two silver. So we're going to connect the black wire to the gold and the white wire to the silver. And then the ground wire is just going to be connected to one of the screws inside of the box. These electrical pliers are really handy. I'll leave a link to those in the description below. One of the features is a small hole here that you can create a loop with the wire. I'm just going to fold it around like that and now we have an easy loop that we can attach to those screws. Do both of the black and the white and then I'm also going to create a loop here in the ground wire. And now we'll attach the, the black to the gold and we always want to wrap it around in a clockwise position so that we can screw the wire down tightly and it won't back off of the, of the screw, the wire won't back off the screw. So we have the black connected to the gold, I'm going to connect the white to the silver. Try to squeeze that wire around tight with your fingers or with the pliers. And then in this case, I'm going to take this ground wire, I'm going to loosen one of the screws that I'm using to attach the box to the joist. And I'm going to wrap this ground wire around that. And then my box already has these two screws in it. So I'm going to kind of fold this wire up a little bit. And I may have to take these two screws out. Sometimes you can slide the fixture right up onto the screws. Let's see. That one fits okay. And that one fits. All right, so now I just do a, a slight turn to get those two screws lined up into the spot where they're not gonna slip back out of the fixture. I'm gonna screw those down. Solid. Last step here at the new fixture, I'm just going to go ahead and put my light bulb in now. Tighten that in. Of course, it's not going to come on because we're not tied in to the existing hot wire. Still have bare wire here. So now I'm over to the existing fixture. I have the power turned off. This is how it's currently sitting. I'm basically going to do the same steps that I, that I did to the new fixture in reverse order. So I'm going to remove the fixture. I'm going to loosen the clamp, put the new wire in, and attach it to the fixture. Before I start poking around in there and touching those bare wires, I just want to make sure that I indeed do not have any power. Taking my little tester here, you can see that the wire coming in, there's no, no signal, no sound. A little chirping there, but I think that was just because I was bouncing around too much. So using my pliers, I'm just going to create some loops again on the black and the white wires and the ground wire. And then just like the fixture that we added on the other end, we have four screws up here, two silver and two black. And what I'm going to do is utilize the other two screws that aren't currently in use to attach these new wires. You have to be careful when you strip these wires not to 
not to damage the copper underneath. It's very soft metal. And if you nick it, uh, you create a weak point, which can then cause the wire to break. All right, so we're gonna loosen the clamp. Feed the new wire through the clamp and into the box. Tighten the clamp back down on the wires. Again, making sure not to damage the wire. You don't want to crimp it. Just want to get those, get them lined up. Wires are tight in place. And now we can put them on the proper screws, white to silver, and a clockwise wrap. Black to gold. Then we're going to take our copper wire and wrap it around the existing copper wire. Ground wire, I should say. Just going to wrap that around several times so it makes a good connection. And that's it. Again, we're going to fold these wires up into the box carefully and gently. We don't want to crush the wires, we don't want to get them pinched in between the fixture in the box. And that's it. Now as long as we have everything hooked up correctly we should be able to flip the switch with the power on and both bulbs should come on. The final step is going to be to use these staples to attach the wire to the floor joists. And quick disclaimer, if you don't feel comfortable messing with electricity, definitely hire an electrician. But it's pretty simple and straightforward. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let us know down below. Thanks for watching.